Hello, Block 4. This is my podcast on Wasteland by Vic Muniz. It's my review, basically telling you how I felt towards the movie and what what were the main concepts that I had caught. Um, Vic Muniz, he demonstrated that the littlest, the littlest town, no matter how worse it is or how rich it is, you can find art in the smallest places. And you can make art based on your facts and your feelings. Um, Vic Munez took, for example, he went to Gramacho Jardim, with the world's largest landfill, and in that landfill he was able to talk to pickers, cazadores, and people who recycled materials. And then there were also people who had their own beliefs about art, but very, very limited for those who did know about art. But it was based on novels that they found in the dump sites or with the workers, because a lot of them weren't uneducated. And that was their job for their life. Um, Vic Munez met a few Shakespearean characters when he was there. Um, he got to realize how much they knew, how much they understood. And hearing it from another part of the world, it gives you a whole new perspective on life. For as Vic Munez, he didn't grow up in the most wealthiest community. He was actually quite poor. But what based him from driving to his success was that he focused on being a success. Success. That's all he wanted, and that's what he drove. That's what drove himself to become a great, great artist. Now, as far as my reviews, as the movie, you know, I thought it was really touching. What Vic Muniz did for the people in that movie it was very hurtful. It was it was hard to watch, but knowing that someone else cared for them and that at one point they they did not believe Vic Muniz was a good man. They thought it was just another person wanting to film their wasteland and their jobs as if it was a poor community. But towards the end, they realized that someone like them was willing to help them. And by that, he showed them art. And by art, I mean he took garbage from all of the wastelands all around there, all the landfills, and he constructed arts constructed pictures of each of the individuals who he spent time with and got to know and learned about their lives for what he did was something that would always touch them forever and not necessarily scar them for it was something that they had never seen before they thought picking trash up it's recycling would be their life the Vic Muniz came to them and showed them you know what you have a dream, live for it, and mine is art. And he showed them by taking lots of trash, constructing portraits, whether it was the families together, whether it was the individual himself or herself, he was able to do that. And by the bonding and the, the time spent with them, they grew as if it was their own family that they've always wanted. For some people, a lot of people had left because due to the poorer communities, they're unable to get proper food, nutrition, health. It was it was a hard life for them. And having someone come in there to do this and spend time with them and show interest that it's not just garbage, that what you're doing is magnificent and beautiful for our earth, it really inspired me and I hopefully others. And in this movie, it was really... Like I said, it was difficult to watch because as much as it really hurt to see how people's lives were spent outside of where I live, it makes me really realize what I'm thankful for and what I have because not everyone has what I have. And I know there are so many other people who I'd want to give the world and show them what I can have and what I can show them because what Vic Muniz did was something really sweet. He... He donated the money of the portraits because it wasn't his art. It was just his idea. The art came from the individuals, the real emotions of the portraits, and that's what won the money, and that's what sold at the auction house. Because emotions like that is real art. You don't need to fake anything when you're coming from that as yourself, as an individual. And in those... And in those moments like those, it's, it's 
really what you capture. And in the movie, I, I've captured that everyone has a dream. May not have been art, but art is everywhere. And um, if you want to take a chance, go for it. It's just you show them what you're interested in and why. And if someone else understands your reasoning, then you have no other reason why not to call it art. Thank you for my podcast. Um, have a great day, Miss Sam. Um, I hope you enjoy Wasteland, my podcast. Thank you.